So that I had it in my gimbal and it slid out of the gimbal and hit the stairs and they stopped working. So after so many years, I guess I'm going to have to send it out for repairs. My screws apparently got loose as I was using the gimbal and didn't realize it and I didn't tighten it down so now I have a dead GoPro. Uh, it's been a week since I got back from Colombia and um, I had an accident with my GoPro. I ended up uh, having it slip off of my gimbal and it took a two step or two stairs uh, drop and it shorted out the, the motherboard and I pretty much lost a lot of my footage in Colombia. I did some on my phone but it weighed heavy on me that I didn't bring my other GoPro and uh, I ended up having to do without. So my footage of Colombia is going to be kind of short on one end but I'll try to display as much as I can so stay tuned. So my sister-in-law, who's on the right, lives in Pareda. She is approximately about five hours away from Medellin. That's where her mom lives. So we're heading out to visit her. And we didn't want to ride on a bus, so we decided to take a puddle jumper. Now her and her husband, her kids, they've done this numerous of times when they've gone to Colombia. But this was my first, and it was quite an experience. I'm not very good in flying planes, actually, not myself physically, but flying in them. Um, and this one had me a little bit nervous, only for the mere fact that it's a small plane and you feel just about everything. And not only that, but we had a 30 minute flight, quite interesting, beautiful scene. Uh, like I said, there are moments where I get pretty much nervous. And you'll hear me in the background as I speak to my wife. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Arriving Pareto. As we're coming in for a landing, it felt like this plane was going to fall apart when it touched ground. Oh my goodness! Fifty-year-old car. This is what we've been riding in. I think it's awesome. Seeing the mountainside of Colombia. 
Imagínense, imagínense cuando se murió, cuántos lloraron. We're crossing over this cable bridge, which I thought it was pretty cool. Now, when I was filming with my GoPro, which was probably the last time I was able to film with my GoPro, it was so windy there that anything I was saying, uh, the mic on the GoPro was not picking it up well. It was just picking up all the wind noise. And basically, our bus driver, what he did was he brought us to one side and had us walk over across on the bridge so that we can experience it. And it, it was pretty cool because the way it was structured, it, there's nothing of cement holding this thing up. All it is is just cables. Um, very narrow. I believe there's only one vehicle at a time that can go through it. Um, so there are two guards on each end of the, of the bridge and they have uh, means of uh, communication by um, radio. But the scene here was beautiful. Like you see this mountain peaks and um, it was pretty cool. And, and honestly, I think this bridge was so well made. I, I, it would probably outlive me for sure. There's our bus going right through. That's our bus driver there. Now, I can't remember the name of this bridge, but I will put it on my text once I get the name. So this is the town of Santa Fe. We're going to walk. Santa Fe. White buying and hustling on Colombian native food. So this is where we stayed. It was built by my sister-in-law's uncle. He was the local doctor of the town. When he had some time, he would basically go there and work on this project. To get there it takes about roughly 10 minutes from town. As you will see on to your left here, this is where the town is located. It's a very narrow road to get there, all cliffside. Our view to our place is what you're seeing here. It overlooks the mountains. There's coffee, there's bananas, there's all kinds of fruits on this plantation here. This is too bad that my uh, camera went bad during the time I was there, so I didn't do much filming.